first let's look at adding a fairly straightforward and basic calculation to our model. And this, this again is our retail sales model and I'm looking at the sales table here. One of the columns that I have is sales amount and this is the actual sale amount for every row. So the row context has, has this number and what I'd like to do is provide a measure that is accessible from just about any client that will give me a uh, sum of the, the current context sales amount. So the way I'll do that is go up here to the formula bar and I'll type in, I want the measure to be called sales, so sales colon equals sum of sales amount. All right, super easy calculation. And I don't like that format, so let me change that to currency and this will default to my US currency that's what my computer uses. And I don't want decimal points on such large numbers. So that's my sales number, and if I want to see what that looks like, I can click Analyze that in Excel. So Excel is launched and is connected to my semantic model, uh, but it's connecting to it through OLADB, so I, I can kind of tell that because I don't have slicer boxes here, and I can see my sales measure up at the top. So, so that's the same number, that $12.4 million number, and I'm going to look at that by my country name. So... Here's my sales by country name. The next thing I want to do is add, uh, really I want to add a percentage of the, the whole. So I want, you know, what is the Australian sales as a percentage of global sales? Well, there's that number, and I suppose I could just manually put that number in here and, uh, you know, divide it by and, you know, all that kind of thing. But that's not really what I want to do. I want to build this calculation into the model so my users don't have to go through that every single time. So I'm going to go back to my model, and the key to this is to manipulate the context to get the number we really want. As we've defined sales here, we haven't made any mention of geography, but the context of each of these rows is taken into account with every cell. So this cell is looking at Japan and slicing that sales number by Japan to give that number. So what I want is to be able to, on this row, include a measure that uses the sales from the entire world. So let me flip over here and I'm going to put in a different calculation that will look the same at first, but when we go to Excel you'll see it's not the same number. And that's going to be uh, one I'll call global sales. And global sales is going to use a function called calculate. Now what Calculate is, I'll explain it more in a minute, but uh, Calculate is going to help us to get sales totals uh, with a broader context. And so we can manipulate on every one of those rows. We're going to manipulate what filters are being used. And I'll explain this as well, but the geography is a table. And as I do that, you'll see it looks exactly the same. And why, did, why is that? The reason it looks exactly the same is because when this calculation is evaluated out here in the middle of nowhere, um, there's really no filtered context being applied. So so the sales is, is the same as the global sales currently. But let's look in Excel. And I just have to come out here and click refresh to get that updated measure in there. Now if I click on global sales, I get the same number. So the global sales and sales on the grand total, of course, are still the same. But now I'm also getting that number here. And what that means is I can add a third measure, and I'll call that percent of global sales. And here I'm going to, uh, I can just click on, down below I'm clicking on sales, and divide it by, click on global sales. And now I have one. Now that's actually supposed to be a percentage, so I'm going to come over here and change that to a percentage, and um, I think one decimal place would be plenty. Okay, so 100%, that's what I would expect. Now let's look in Excel. So I'll refresh to get that new measure. Percent of global sales. Now I have a very nice measure that's showing me this row's, within this row context, the percent of global sales is 8.2%. Our first 
calculation was just a regular sum of sales, which means sum the sales amount in the current context. So that's that row that just says Japan. So we're applying the J Japan to the filter because that's what's on the row. Our, our second calculation is global sales. Now global sales is a little more complicated. Calculate is, is telling the calculation that I want you to do the first thing in this function, modifying the context according to what comes after that. And calculate can take more than one uh, one additional argument, so we could have two or three or four. And so what's happening is the sum is, is the same, but the context is being modified by this all function. All says ignore the current context and just return a list of all the geographies. So this calculation will basically remove the filter that's implicitly applied by the uh, Excel rows and instead calculate the sum of sales amount for all the geography for all the geography members 